Hello friends, today I will tell you about Natural Treatments and Home Remedies for Hyponatremia Hyponatremia is happening when the level of sodium in your blood is abnormally low. The sodium is electrolyte which is regulating the amount of water that it is in and around your cells. There are many factors which can cause the sodium in our body to become diluted, such as underlying medical condition, drinking too much water during endurance sports. When this is happening, then our body water level rise and our cells begin to swell. This swelling can cause many problems which range from mild to life-threatening. The treatment of the hyponatremia is aimed at resolving the underlying condition. There are many signs and symptoms of hyponatremia and the most common are seizures, nausea and vomiting, muscle weakness, spasms or cramps, headache, confusion, loss of energy and fatigue, restlessness and irritability and coma. Older people are having more chances to get hyponatremia. There are some medications which can increase the risk of hyponatremia, such as thiazide diuretics as well as some pain medications and antidepressants. Also the recreational drug ecstasy is increasing the risk of hyponatremia. There are some medical conditions which can increase your risk of hyponatremia, such as heart failure, kidney disease and syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone SIADH. Here are some home remedies for hyponatremia. Number 1. Get sodium from meat. Those meat soups and soup stocks which are made from bones are rich in sodium. Also beef stew and meat loaf are high in sodium. If vegetables and fruits do not strike your fancy, then you should know that you can get the sodium from animal sources as well. We know that the lunch meats are a big source of sodium. The most processed meat has plenty of sodium to add in preservation. This range from chicken nuggets to pizza to fast food hamburgers. But if you are not eating carefully, then in easy and unhealthy way you can get too much sodium. Number 2. Eat more fruits and vegetables. In the most foods which we eat, there is sodium. You should consume fruits and vegetables which have sodium because this is the healthiest way to increase the sodium in your blood. Also processed foods are rich in sodium but there are many health experts which are recommending eating fresh products. In a cup of vegetable juice there are 500 milligrams of sodium. You should add shredded cartoon celery and carrots in a blender. Add a pinch of salt to make a tasty juice. Also spinach and sweet potatoes are rich source of sodium. If you are busy and you do not have time to prepare these foods, then you should try can navy beans with 1174 milligrams of sodium per cup. Also you can try can olives because one serving with 5 pickled olives can give you 550 milligrams of sodium. There are many fruits which have sodium such as passion fruits, guavas and mammy apple who have 5130 milligrams of sodium there are some studies in which are said that the processed foods have additional 50 milligrams of sodium number three avoid taking diuretics you should not take diuretics unless you have a pre-existing medical condition and have a prescription from your doctor. Diuretic are known as water pills because they are producing a substance which is stimulating the urine production and also it is preventing the water retention in the body. But you will lose sodium as well, so at the end, you will be dehydrated. The function of diuretics is to get rid of water and sodium in the body. When you are taking this medication, then it will cause for the loss of sodium which can be very dangerous for the overall health of the affected person. The most common diuretics which people are using are spironoloctone, aldoctone, furosemide, lasix and chlorothiazide. Number 4. Work on balancing your hormones. 
It is known fact that people who are currently going through menopause, are pregnant or who are experiencing other hormonal changes, this may be one reason why they experience mood changes, fatigue, swelling, etc. due to electrolyte changes. There are some studies in which are said that premenopausal women appear to have the biggest risk for hyponatremia due to how women's sex hormones affect the sodium levels and fluid levels 5. Also people who have stressed adrenal glands are having increased risk of developing hyponatremia. Once you have ruled out disorders like thyroid disorders damage in Addison disease adrenal gland insufficiency, you should work on balancing your hormones in natural way through using hormone balancing essential oils, eating a nutrient dense diet, doing exercises and stress reducing practices like meditation, deep breathing or yoga and possibly taking herbs supplements which can help you with this condition. Number 5. Eat foods that are high in sodium. Those people who think that they lost sodium through sweating or by any other means then they can replace the lost sodium levels in their next meal. Meals can increase and replace back the sodium lost between activities. There are many foods which are rich in sodium such as caviar, soy sauce, olives, cheese, bacon, salami, broths or soup and table salt. Number 6. Keep your health in mind, you should know that there are special conditions which are requiring medical attention before starting a high sodium diet, especially in people who suffered from osteoporosis, cardiovascular problems and kidney disease. Before you change anything in your diet, you need to talk with your doctor. There are some studies in which are said that there are very few people who require a high sodium diet. But the most physicians are recommending a low sodium diet. The low fat and high protein diet is standard to prevent cardiovascular disease and hypertension. Number 7. Take note of the recommended sodium intake. There are some doctors who are recommending a maximum of 6 g of salt which is equivalent to approximately 1 full teaspoon per day for the average adult. There are very rare cases when the high sodium diet is recommended. People who are active may require higher sodium levels than the average person. There are some cases when people who suffered from hyponatremia are advised to increase their sodium levels. Levels. Always talk with your doctor if you should increase the sodium levels in your diet. Number 8. If you do not enjoy sport drinks, know the healthy alternatives. Not every single person wants to drink sport drinks and these drinks are not always available. But fortunately there are many healthy alternatives and every single person can choose his favorite one. Banana is very healthy alternative for treating the hyponatremia. You should eat one to two pieces of banana after vigorous activity because it is rich in potassium. You should know that the coconut water has a lot of electrolytes and it is very effective for dehydration. It has a lot of potassium, magnesium and sodium. The third alternative to sport drink is the saline water. You can make the saline water at your home and it can help you in very fast way to replace your sodium in the body. You should take a glass of water with a pinch of salt. Mix it and then drink it. Please note. These remedies may not be suitable for everyone, so, you should select one that suits you, and if required, kindly consult your doctor. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.